Yes, Audrey, a harmless mutation. A silent mutation, amen, right? So certainly you can have a, a silent mutation, right? Those are the sort of the riskiest. They're in the neighborhood of a gene, but, they're, um, but they don't cause any problems. All right, how about another one? Uh, uh, Cullen. Right here, or John. John, you want to pass? Okay. All right, Lorena. There's a lot of, uh, all right, fine, fine, very well. Okay, it's, let me do one more. Stephanie, are you here? Pass. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uncle, I'm a little surprised uh, why that's happening because we talked a lot about this, I thought, um, and that a mutation that would have no effect would be something that was part of your variative lab reports. I'm not, so I'm a little confused. Yeah? After the stop codon, another good possibility, right? Yeah. In the middle of an intron, right? Yeah. Before the promoter. Did you have one? Yeah. Kit. Before the start codon, right? After the, after the terminator, right? So there's, there's, a, there's a sort of a zillion mutations that could have no effect. Um, there's lots of low hanging fruit. And so there's a couple things. In addition to all of those that people said, it turns out about 90% of the human genome is uh, intron or space between genes. Therefore, mutations there have no effect. All right, that's number one. Even if mutation an essential gene is another copy. A copy from your other parent. So that is, if, you, if the one from your dad got mutated, you still have the copy from your mom. Um, it turns out also that many genes are not needed in lung cells. So if you mess up the gene for uh, making amylase, which is in your saliva, who cares? You know, lung cells don't need it. You could even lose both copies and no one, you would, no one, uh, it would be no effect. All right. um, furthermore, not all genes control cell growth. And finally, not all mutations in growth control genes cause cancer. So part of the reason it takes so long, that is you can be a smoker for 20 years, and in fact you can be a smoker all your life and not get lung cancer, because a fantastically long series of coincidences has to happen. You have to get that molecule, that that BP epoxide has to escape the next enzyme and sneakily get into the nucleus and attach to DNA. It has to not get fixed before um, it gets replicated. And then it has to hit an essential a gene involved in growth control in these particular cells in a particular way. So it's a pretty low probability event. The thing is, what you do as a smoker is bathe your lung cells in this rather fierce carcinogen on a daily, on a daily basis. You do this long enough, you keep rolling the dice, even if that dice has like a million sides and only one of them is cancer, you roll it enough times with enough cells, it usually comes up trouble. So, the, the, all of the, so like as, as the clicker question said, there's a long list of things that have to be true before you can cause cancer. 